100. Ah. 120 years ago, the Wright brothers made history by allowing us ground monkeys to become sky monkeys, expanding our limits and allowing us to travel anywhere in the same time as a modern day goon session. Before then, the only way for us humans to get around would be to ride on poopy horses, rickety boats, or my favorite still used to this day, the Shoelace Express. Now we're in the modern day and sure, travel is easier, but it's also hella expensive, for real, for real, no cap. I know this firsthand because last week I went on a trip with my mom to Japan and it cost a small fortune of my mother's money. This is my house, currently. Where? Uh, we're Look standing at the Joker. on it. I'm renting out at this area. Okay, so travel's expensive. What can you do? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. You can travel in VR. I mean, for me, most of the time, travel just consists of getting lost and looking at things. Most of these cool landmarks and shit are already made, remade in, in VR chat world. So you could just check them out with your boys. How bad could it be? Now I am just gonna take you through one by one of the worlds we went to that quote, recreated reality. But I'm sorry, they are not all of the same quality. Let's go to Cristo Redentor. Cristo Redentor. Yeah, everyone loves Cristo Redentor. We started in Rio. Beautiful, wonderful, terrible, actually. The, the world was really not that good. Parada, parada, parada. <laughs> but it wasn't that long before we moved to a place that actually recreated reality, the Arctic. Ice, ice, baby. Do you think we can live? As an almost proud Canadian, I've been subject to images of our great white north since my early school days. So I like to think that I can make people believe I know about the Arctic, when in reality I grew up in a place hotter in winter than the entire US East Coast. That being said, my knowledge gained from watching half of the Titanic, this is a pretty good world recreation. Am I Titanic enough? <laughs> Daryl, let's take cargo. Hey, you want to know something really cool? Did you know that emperor penguins are one of the it only species like in the world who do gay sex? So. Oh, Isn't perfect. That awesome? That's wonderful. But I'm not in Canada anymore. I'm in Korea. So of course our next destination had to be... Travel is a funny thing. You go to a place and you're amazed at how different everything is compared to back home. The simple feeling of being somewhere else is half the magic. And this world, almost gets you there. And to Chita. Ciao Ciao. Ciao Ciao. Something like that. I, I wanted uh, uh, the meat the ball. Uh, no meat the ball here. What do you sell then? Only the bolognese. I mean, this world is somehow worse and better than the other worlds we explored. All because it's a 3D scan, a proper 3D scan. There's plenty of 3D scans of rooms and the like in VR chat that we could have visited, but this one is probably one of, if not is, the best example of how I expect 3D scans to be. It's just good. With me. Oh, sweet. <laughs> but leaving the 3D scan aspect aside is that's another video. Oh my god. It really captures what it's like to be in Venice. Oh my gosh. Look at him go. What, what happened? Don't, don't go back there. Don't, <laughs> What's back there? <laughs> What's back here? <laughs> <laughs> now, I've never been to Venice in real life, so I can't compare, but we tried to make the experience as authentic as possible. Pick one Milano, please. CC, one Milano. Milano, para ti. Por favor. <laughs> what the fuck is Milano exactly? Per favore, per favore. Ah, thank Milano. you, senor. Por favor. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's supposed hey. to be like a mailbox. It is me again. Bolognese, oh, sister. Your bolognese was shit. What happened? No, 
no, it's the Italiano Bolognese. Not Italiano Americano. Bolognese, it tastes no. like Americano. garbage, like shit. What are you doing? <laughs> you only eat shit in America. Oh, hey, man. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you want to go? Huh? Mmm. Ah, uh, this is what I'm talking about, man. Paris, the city of love. Je suis mon ami in Paris. I suck on my D. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's, uh, that's all, that's all the French I, I know. Um, are we gonna kick? Paris, the city of love and also a beautiful backdrop if you ignore the rats, scammers, and bed bugs crawling all over it, which is exactly where VR helps you more than it takes away. As well, looking at the Eiffel Tower with my friends, instead of smelling the garbage smell of Paris, I only smelled my own sweat and BO, as at this point, I was two hours in VR stuck in a boiling room. Oh my God, is that Zuckerberg? Welcome to Meta. No, but I genuinely love this world. One of the biggest aspects of being a tourist is to gawk at the landmarks, so, this was a fine way to do it. We live in current year, so we unfortunately only have the option to travel in space. And we can fantasize about our Doctor Who dreams as much as we want, but we can't travel in time. But hey, we can experience it in VR. Seeing the world through rose-tinted glasses at a time that was surely not as peaceful and wonderful as it presents itself here. Do they have a lot of pigeons in Russia? They have pigeons everywhere. Probably. <laughs> Who am I even thinking? We had a good time exploring Moscow in 1953. So, what yeah. the fuck is happening to me? Where am I? How do you like it all of you, my man. beautiful paintings? Oh my gosh, did you right? Ain't paint? <laughs> This? No, who do you think right? I am? I stole it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how wonderful. Oh, my friend, I've been wanting to meet you here for a while. How's the boat ride? I've been waiting. Oh, don't talk about it. They might be listening. Don't. Oh, Soviet don't Russia. Talk, don't talk about it. You know how it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> a nice Canadian uh, shirt, my friend. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna jump off. Ah! 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 We've explored every nook and cranny of the world. But we not yet have let the world explore every nook and cranny of us. I don't think that makes any sense. When you're unable to explore the planet, one of the most fun things that you can do is to go on Google Maps or Google Earth and just zoom in to random places and, and find out what's there. It's fun, it's, it is actually fun. But there is a better way, and that's, uh, it's, it's Google Earth VR. It's, it's the same thing, but in VR. It's, it's, re it's really good. I just farted, I hope that didn't. Here's the thing with Google Earth VR. It's Google Earth, but better. Because with VR, you can zoom into any spot on the entire planet and get a 3D representation from the perspective of a giant looking down at all the plebs. ET poses on all the poor people. Uh. The first time I opened this game, I leaked a little, honestly. Oh, you can just look in. Oh my God, this is so cool looking. I can't 360 photos in like VR chat worlds look like this. This is so good looking. How do they do that? Like I can see depth properly. And here I am in this, in the scan. Oh, you can just drag yourself around. Oh no way, dude. Look at the little statue, all the li 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 little people. I don't understand how companies like Google even exist. They took out the don't be evil slogan years ago and I'm pretty sure we're like five years off of Skynet being real. And I mean Terminator, not Elon Musk's Starforge PCs or whatever it is. Here's where I'm from. No way, you can just get right up into it. And it's 
fully fucking rendered. Like the, the the buildings pop out and everything. What the hell, dude? And I can go I can go downtown too. What's the this is that's the site that everyone everyone likes this building. I'm at Parliament. Granted, they don't have this data everywhere. It's a shame I can't zoom in on North Korea and see Kim's fat ass from space. But what you do got is super cool. Would recommend at least once. Do the tours. It's fun. If they get all the pillars inside the Vatican, perfect as well. That's crazy. So would I equate these VR antics to traveling in real life? Nope. I mean, it looks really good. What the fuck is going on there? Ah, that's just the water wall. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's, uh, you know, the oh, okay. when the battle royale happens in Venice, um, the, <laughs> oh, yeah. it pushes you in. Yeah.